All right guys, update. I've been in Canada for three days. I was supposed to be in London by now. The whole Happy Bunch team is out there. All the boys, Face Temper, Face Sensei, Keem, all my guys are out there. I'm supposed to be there right now with them, but this company, worst airline experience I've ever had in my life. Uh, they've messed up my flight five or six times by now, and now they don't have a flight for me to go to London until Monday, which is after the flight, which is crazy. So right now I'm trying to go book another flight to get to London through a different airline. Um, the flight that I was supposed to be on last night, we went up for an hour and they had an emergency landing due to unusable aircraft difficulties or something. I'm just making this as a little update. I have no idea, but I've been trapped in Canada for like three days. After being lost in Canada for a week, we finally made it to London. Look at this exclusive Happy Punch drop with the Box Raw collab. My name on the back. Look at this, this is beautiful. Just met up with my manager, John from LFM. Can I show you? What's up? <laughs> and here's the stuff, the hats. We got shirts to give out at the event and uh, we got a beautiful view. Check this out, guys. Those are socks. Look at this. We got the whole city of London right there. There's a lake. I had to get across that to get over here. It's time to get ready for the KSI versus two random people event. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're ready. We got the Happy Punch Custom on from Box Raw and Happy Punch Collab. It's got overflow on the back. We're gonna head down to the fights right now. I'm a little bit late, running late. This whole UK experience has been absolutely wild. Um, if you guys aren't following my Insta and all that, you definitely need to be. I posted a ton on my Insta and my TikTok. If you guys follow me over there, you'll see me with everybody. So make sure you definitely do that. Also guys, make sure you go check out G Fuel right now to buy one, get one, go get one and get one free. Absolutely beautiful. Also, you can use code FLOW at any given moment, if you guys want to support me, get 10% off. Uh, been partnered with G Fuel since like 2015, 2016. Absolutely love them. And I love y'all. For PJ? Here we are, the O2. Let's go in. This is the everywhere pass. Look at this. Right here in the middle of the ring. Absolutely beautiful. Happy Punch, fellow Happy Punch member. Look at this. Beautiful stuff. Um, my first vlog in a long time. I'm kind of rusty at this. So please drop some likes. Love ya. Mwah, mwah, mwah. The next fight is Face Sensei. Super excited to see him back in the ring. And honestly, I'm glad that I'm not fighting him this time. Let's see what we, he can do. Big phase up. Congrats, Slim. Tommy, I love you, bro. You're an absolute warrior. Amazing fight. Yo, there's I just won two boxing fights in one night. Nice. Absolutely insane night of fights, you guys. Um, honestly, just a wild ride. I'm gonna go see what everybody's doing, uh, see what the after party is. Maybe I'll bring you along, maybe I won't. But if you follow my Insta, I'm definitely gonna be posting stuff over there. Um, post a bunch of stuff in my TikTok as well. Absolutely wild. Shout out Happy Punch Face Clan. Appreciate you guys having me out here, KSI, Misfits Boxing. Amazing time. Love y'all. Oh, it's a video. Yo, what's going on, you guys? Fights were absolutely insane. Wild ride. Um, Face Sensei won. You think so? Yo, oh, yeah, he won. This is top secret right here. I'll show you guys very soon in a vlog. It's a secret phase thing going on. Check this out. Absolutely beautiful on the river out here. 
uh, yeah, let's break down these fights. Yo, what's going on you guys? Uh, obviously, it's a few days after the fight. I'm kind of excited to check this out. I've rewatched every single fight that happened and I want to give you guys my review of the fights and kind of let you know how it went down. And if you guys don't know, Happy Punch just launched their first merch collection. If you guys want to check it out, I will link them down below. Happy Punch is uh, the company that I'm with now, it's a boxing promotional company. The owners are Fusi and Keem, and I am the strategic advisor slash fighter slash I'm on the board for it. Um, we've been doing a ton of stuff. We co-promoted the event with Misfits Boxing and The Zone, which is amazing. We did a great job, and I think that, the, I think that uh, I'm, just, I'm just so excited to be part of Happy Punch, man. So if you guys want to check them out, feel free to. really spent... You know, whatever, an hour and a half of watching them all back again, rewinding, watching again, checking out, seeing what happened. Here's my personal review of the fights. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first fight, obviously, KSI versus Swarms. Uh, is KSI not the most entertaining man in combat sport? Pro fighter, pro boxer fights two opponents in one night. This man is all, you can tell a huge difference between somebody who's good at promotion, good at marketing, good at entertaining, and somebody who is just going out there to box. And for sure, there's definitely going to be detractors that say, well, he could have fought somebody better or whatever. But the thing is, Alex Usabi pulled out in case I needed something just as big. Fighting two guys in one night, no matter what it is, is pretty cool, pretty impressive, and uh, overall makes for something awesome to talk about. Extremely entertaining. I gotta give credit to Swarms for even hopping in there. He was completely outmatched. But sometimes when people um, don't, train a lot because I, I know that Swarms was very new to this when they don't train a lot sometimes they have an over estimation of what their abilities can be I don't know if he really believed that he could get in there and, and KO KSI but obviously we all saw that I've seen a bunch of helicopter memes hit him with the spin moves left and right but a fun match entertaining match to watch the next one we got a happy punch guy Dean the Great looked great in his performance against Evil Hero the Dean came out and completely uh, outclass Evil Hero, and Evil Hero, to my knowledge, is no slouch. Dean the Great getting uh, his respect in like a big way because I know that Fuzi and Kim have been really building this guy up. And I, I gotta, I gotta say, I just met him for the first time. Couldn't be a nicer kid. Salt Poppy versus Andy Worski was uh, might be the most highlighted clip that he hit him with the Mortal Kombat uppercut. If you don't know who Salt Poppy is, he got super big on TikTok for doing. Uh, fake running so he would like fake run and it just would go viral on TikTok because people would put it in Call of Duty search like Call of Duty search and destroy lobby and they'd green screen him into the game showing him like running through the map like me with marathon running through the map he included doing like this whole salt thing where he pour salt in his hand go up to somebody be like this and then pick up their food and like feed it to them and it just his humor is so funny bro that he went incredibly viral. He's got, I don't know, close to 4 million on TikTok. I've known him since he had maybe 100K. And he actually, we were talking about possibly boxing back on the Showstar event. And lucky for me, I looked him up and seen some boxing clips and I said, yeah, dude, you're insanely good, buddy. I'm black belt jujitsu, right? I'm not black belt boxing. So we're gonna definitely not be fighting uh, Salt Poppy or Logan Paul anytime soon. But anybody else, we'll figure it out. So Saul Poppy came out, beat Andy Worski. The whole stadium went nuts. Saul Poppy is just, he's got, he's got it. He's got the star power. He's got pretty much everything that you want in somebody to be one of these influencer boxers. Super entertaining, very good at boxing. And I don't know who he's fighting next, but I know in our group chat with Happy Punch, this man says yes to every single opponent. He's like, yes, I'll fight KSI. Yes, I'll fight Logan. Yes, I'll fight Slim. Yes, I'll fight freaking anybody from FaZe. Yes, I'll fight the whole O2 arena. We got Sam Hyde versus I Am Thompson. I didn't know who I Am Thompson was, but obviously Sam Hyde is like a, uh, a comedy, meme, internet, edgy legend, bro. Super funny guy and honestly, an absolute giant and a giant sweetie pie. Very, very nice guy. Towards the end, Sam Hyde, the Irishman, the candy man, dug deep, poured it on I'm Thompson and ended up winning the fight, which is awesome. He's another happy punch guy. Uh, so Salt Poppy, Dean the Great, and Sam Hyde are all happy punch guys and they all completely dominated, which is awesome. Um, and kudos to everybody who even stepped into the ring because obviously it takes a lot for people to even jump in there most people would never. For these guys to get in the ring, some of these guys, it's their first time getting in the ring in front of 20,000 people at the O2 Arena, which is mind-blowing, right? I mean, it's scary to fight in front of 10 people, let alone 10,000, let alone 20,000, let alone 
whatever, a million pay-per-view buys or whatever it was. You have to give respect to everybody in here. We move on to my former opponent, one of my really good friends, uh, Face Sensei versus King Kenny. It was a good match, but it was a clear victory for Sensei, and they ended up giving it to King Kenny. And I want to say, uh, obviously, it's not King Kenny's fault. Uh, he looked great. Face Sensei just looked better. He looked more experienced, and he... It was a clear victory, 3-1. to one. Everybody I was sitting with agreed. All the pro boxers that I'm here with, all the um, media guys, all of the other influencers or whatever that we talked to that were all around me, we all agreed. We all agreed that it was a clear victory for Se Face Sensei. And even after re-watching it back, I sat with the Wade concept. Shout out Wade, great guy. If you guys don't know who he is, you obviously do because he's crushing it. And I haven't been really posting to YouTube. I want to say this, man. Posting to my YouTube, I've always posted my life you know, and as of right now, this is my life. So I want to keep sharing it with you guys, but I am mostly active on my TikTok and my Instagram. I have half a million on Instagram and two million on TikTok. So if you guys aren't following me there and you're wondering where I went, I get that comment a lot. Yo, where are you? I remember the GameStop videos. I'm still making content. It's just on different platforms, but I am going to try to be producing more content here on YouTube for you guys. I'm still streaming every day on TikTok. I'm still posting a ton of gaming clips. Uh, I'm mostly Fortnite, Call of Duty, Rumbleverse right now. So if you guys like watching that, you can come over and watch. And we gotta go to GameStop and do some freaking shopping sprees, obviously. GameStop shopping spree for a random fan. We'll do that, all right? Just drop some likes on this video. I would appreciate it. Uh, Sensei was the clear victor. Uh, somehow, the judges gave it to King Kenny. Very similar to the way that they did it with uh, Faze Temper and King Kenny. And that ended up getting overturned, but I, I know that us at Happy Punch, Faze Sensei, Faze Sensei is on Happy Punch along with myself. I know that we're doing everything we can to try to make this right in because I don't see how you could watch that fight and score it for King Kenny. Even though it was a very good fight, I don't see how... King Kenny won, you know, and that's my personal opinion along with the opinions of many others that are much more, you know, intelligent and versed in boxing than I am. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. I know it might be a little bit tougher because there's a whole belt now. Love you, Sensei. You're the man. You already know this. I call him right after the fight. Let him know. You deserve that victory, and that's just what it is, man. But great job. You looked amazing out there, bro. I felt like I was in there with you. I was literally watching the fight, and I was like, ooh, oh, yeah, yes, bro. So excited for you. I couldn't be... I, would, I might have been more anxious for your match than um, for my match against you, you know what I mean? Or any of my jujitsu matches or any time I've competed. I might have been more anxious to watch you, bro. Deji and Fuzi. And I want to say this. Uh, Deji is, I consider Deji a friend. And I also consider Fuzi a friend. And Fuzi is also my business partner slash kind of boss, right? Because Happy Punch, he's the man. He made it. I'm sad that Fuzi lost, but I thought that he looked, he looked good. He didn't look out of place in there, right? He beats a lot of fighters on the card, in my opinion. I'm happy that Deji got a W, so I, I went up to both of them after the fight, gave them a hug, uh, gave Deji a hug, told Fuzi, hey, you know, something that a lot of people don't consider is that because this is the first time a lot of these people are competing, it means the world to them, right? And Fuzi's very tough on, on himself. Nothing to be ashamed of, be proud of yourself. And think about it this way. Uh, you only got a couple fights, man. You can't base your whole uh, value of yourself based off of a couple fights. If you posted a YouTube video back in the day and it didn't go as well as you wanted, did you say, will you, I mean, obviously you're going to be hard on yourself. We all are when the views are low or whatever, but it doesn't matter. You get up the next day, you post again, and maybe the next day you get the viral, right? So that's just what it is. With fighting, I personally, and you guys already know this because I posted before, uh, I've been choked unconscious in front of 1,500 people, 2,000 people. I've been KO'd. All I get in my Instagram comments whenever I comment on boxing stuff is liver shot, liver shot, phase liver shot, liver shot. Sensei's your dad, bro. It's just one fight, you know. It's just one fight. And Fuzi, you didn't. You looked good. Uh, you had a great showing. Absolute warrior. Went out on your shield. Beautiful stuff, man. And uh, be proud of yourself. And Deji, love you, bro. Congrats on the W. I already told you. Um, long time coming, man. Very skilled. Dude, the Deji Fuzi fight has the most views right now of any of the fights on the DAZN. Absolutely heartbreaking for me to watch, man. But that's what happens when you play this game. That's you win some, you lose some. We've all been through it. We've all been there. I've been there. And Face Temper versus Slim. Slim is the most awkward, unorthodox opponent. But man, he he uh he slings his arms like whips, bro. Like the way that he moves his body is very he's got a unique body type 
for this and he uses it in a unique way and temper looked great out there obviously we know temper uh i've trained with him multiple times i've sparred with him before and he's an absolute beast temper's the man uh once again i consider temper like a brother you win some you lose some i know that temper is super competitive and i know that he hates that he lost but i also know he's gonna be back in the ring and we're gonna see an even better version of him and he's already good so i can imagine what super saiyan temper looks like and the main event of the evening ksi versus Pinata. I felt bad for him, bro. Uh, I posted a ton of stuff to my Insta. If you guys didn't see, it's all in my story. I'll make some highlights out of it so you guys can go watch it if you haven't yet. Uh, and I'll link the DAZN page so that you guys can go see the fights. They're free now on DAZN. They literally released them, like, the day after, which is very cool. That's a great business model. They released the fights right after. Like, if you want them, 10 bucks. Not a big deal. You watch them. If you don't want them, you don't get to see them live, but you'll get to see them the next day, which is a great business model, especially for the YouTube entertainer category. Obviously, a lot of the people don't, like a lot of the fans are younger. They don't have the money to spend. So that 10 buck price point is amazing. And on top of that, uh, releasing it to the fans, that's what you want. You want these videos to go viral. You want the memes. You want all this to happen because it's more publicity in the end. I love the fact that the zone is doing it this way, and I'm sure they had a huge push from JJ and Misfit. So I actually felt bad for Pineda. Uh, he went in there, and of course, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say, maybe on a different stage, he shines brighter, right? But in this instance, I think that the event could have possibly overwhelmed him. It was obviously the biggest event he's ever done. It's a huge stage, and he's in a place that's not his home where everybody loves the other guy. It's overwhelming, and I think a lot of people don't even realize, like, if you're fighting in front of people your body just does not do what it's supposed to do like i can go i can go right now and spar 30 rounds in jiu-jitsu no problem i'm actually about to go do that right after this i'm gonna go train i can spar 30 rounds in a row no issue right an hour and a half straight no issue but you go and you compete and there's people watching and there's all this pressure you be lucky if you last 10 minutes right an hour and a half versus 10 minutes is crazy that outside Pressure really does get to you. and Not a great showing. <laughs> KSI did whatever he wanted. Absolutely dominated. Two fights in one night. The most entertaining man in combat sports. KSI. Also, I actually don't even think I can announce this yet. The next boxing fights coming up. You're going to be seeing me. And I'm very excited. Anyways, that's my breakdown. Excellent weekend. Uh, some things didn't go exactly the way that I wanted. We did good overall. Happy Punch did great. Misfits did great. DAZN Boxing really put on a great thing. And obviously, I got to stay in London for a while. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to include my London vlog in this vlog or if I'm going to do this separate. I don't even know. You know what I'm excited for, man? I sat down with the Wade Concept. I sat down with uh, True Jordy and some people. I stream on TikTok every day. And I've kind of been doing a lot of the gaming thing. And I've been mixing in the boxing. And I've been, I do jujitsu every day in my, in my normal life. It's pretty cool that, uh, you know, all these guys have some respect for me and I was mentioned multiple multiple times during all the press conferences and news uh, interviews and uh, even at the event which is cool so I'm excited to have a comeback fight I've been training with some uh, pretty good coaches also I want to say this my boxing coach one of my good friends Hasim Rockman rock he was my boxing coach for the sensei fight I think I got three weeks of training out of him which is awesome he just announced that he is main event for the next boxing card congrats rock absolutely love you bro amazing and uh i'll be there buddy yeah i definitely want to be more involved in the fight community and i hope that there's some of you here that support me i know that i got popular off of you know call of duty and gamestop and i still have an enormous love for that and i still want to partake in those type of videos and i think it's funny and i bro i got v bucks on me right now to make some tiktoks out of it like giving it to people like out here like yo finding a little london lad and giving him some v bucks for funsies you know i got a bunch of stuff this channel has always been about what i'm doing currently in my life right so i'm gonna keep it that way and currently i'm in london at the o2 arena and everybody told me playing video games would never work but here we are which is beautiful guys i don't think you guys can see it but i'm actually staying on a like boat hotel on a river so like out that window right there is like a huge 40 foot river and then you get over there to the street to the mainland which is cool so uh it's been beautiful out here in london uh i'll post some pictures right here that i posted on instagram so if you guys aren't following me once again please drop me a follow on insta uh, drop me a follow on twitter tiktok as well make sure that you guys use code flow on g fuel that backpacks g fuel 
Make sure you use code FLOW on it for 10% discount, which is awesome. That supports me as well. Shout out to GFU, one of my favorite sponsors that I've worked with for six years at this point. Uh, you could use code OVER in the Fortnite item shop. You could also go buy some Happy Punch stuff if you want to represent the team. We're going to be doing some massive, massive events soon. I don't know, man. It's just so cool to be involved in the space so much to this day, even if it's behind the scenes. But I want to bring that and make it more public to you guys. My name is Overflow, or PJ. PJ like pajamas. And um, I absolutely love you guys. You guys changed my life, you know, over the course of the last decade at this point. I started making YouTube videos in 2009, 2010. And here we are a decade later. It's still my full-time job. And I get to do things that a lot of people only dream of. And I want to bring you guys with me on the journey. So appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Drop some likes. Love you all very much. And I am over it and out.